Okay, the mechanics of bending. Bending on a diatonic harmonica is essential and it's basically drawing and then bending the note down to get another note because as you know there is a lot of notes missing on the diatonic harmonica. If you've got a chromatic it's easy, you just press the slide in and you get all the notes that are missing on the diatonic. So the mechanics, what you actually do to bend a note, it's all about practice first of all, practice and experimentation, and it's about the position of your tongue and the shape of your mouth, the lowering of your of your jaw, the raising of it, making the space in your mouth a bit smaller, a bit bigger, pushing your tongue to the back which uh, arches it up a little bit or pushing it to the front depending on which hole you're uh, trying to bend a note on. So I would suggest first of all trying on hole four. That's the normal note on hole four. And then just moving your chin down Move your chin down and your tongue back a little bit and uh, you should get the, the bent note. And it's the same principle on all the other holes. Four is perhaps the easiest to start off with and there's only one bend on four. On three you've got a half step, a whole step and a one and a half step. So you've got a few more to get there and on two you've got a whole step and uh, well you've got a half step and a whole step on two and on one you've just got a whole step. So it's all, all about moving your tongue and your jaw to alter the space in your mouth which affects the airstream and will pull the reed down and then it's a question of just pulling it down enough keeping it stable because you'll find first of all when you when you try to bend that you might get the bend and, and then it'll just go so it's, it's about keeping that airstream stable to maintain the bend and keeping your mouth shape and your tongue position stable to maintain the bend. Awful lot of practice. It took me a long time to perfect all the bends, but uh, practice is the thing. You just need to keep at it. You will get it. It's just patience and perseverance. So keep practicing with the position of your tongue, moving it forward and backwards, and moving your jaw down a bit and then up a bit just to change the, the uh, size and the shape of the cavity in your mouth to affect the airflow. You will get it, just keep on.